Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs. And it's time to figure out what route we're taking. After Roy captures Aquilia, other Etrurian forces flock to the Loyalists, forcing out the revolutionaries. Yeah, yeah, Loyalists for the win! Screw the revolution! Anyway, Rorts and Ricardo are driven out of Etruria. Ah, and it's Zelia. Well, we knew that. We knew that already. I mean, let's be real. Like, uh, I've given way more levels to Theon and Shauna compared to Shin. I don't think I've given Sue any experience at all. However, I have some good news. Um, I have some friends who have helped me. And um, they have actually given me another verse in Project Ember where I go to the other route. So, uh, after we're done playing Ilya, we're going to go play Sakai. So I'm going to do both routes. I know that's what you guys want to see. So uh, we'll start with Ilya, and then we'll load a save, go back, and play Sakai. They flee north to Ilya, which is under Burns' control. Ilya, the frozen highlands, is a land with short summers and long winters. With so little arable land, the nation's main source of income is mercenary contracts. The, the now free kingdom of Etruria joins forces with the Lysian army, now a joint force under the name of the Etrurian army. Their first mission is to enter Ilya and finish off the revolutionaries. After that, they plan to launch a direct attack on Bern. Roy, nominated as the leader of the Etrurian army, has the powerful support of the St. Alamine Church. With the church's support comes also the support of the people. However, Roy has to face not only the freezing cold of Ilya, but also their elite troops under Murdoch, head of Ver Burn's Vyvern generals. Even worse, many skilled mercenary knights of Ilya have sided with Burn. To begin, Roy with uh, to begin, Roy heads for the castle at Rimai or at Amy, located on the Ilian border. All right, here we go. It's time for that map that has that stupid gimmick that no one ever cares about because they completed before. <laughs> This map has a bit of a funny gimmick, like a, a, a like an ocean will appear in the middle here, or sorry, like a path will appear here, but usually you just want to drop Roy off with a flyer or something before that happens. This is an interesting map though. It's been a while since I played the Ilya route. Akardo is here. He's a great knight, looking pretty scary. Has that light blade to prevent one three range cheesing. I think that's the reason why so many bosses have these weapons. And uh, there's some status days, of course, we gotta be careful of those. And of course, one of the great things about this uh, map is that it has an arena. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be bringing Noah and Trek for this one. I'm going to early promote them, <laughs> early promote them, uh, simply because uh, you have to bring Cell up uh, to recruit Juno. So I thought, you know, might as well bring the Ilian Knights to LA. You know, it, it, it feels right to bring them along. And of course, since I'm effectively going back and loading a save state, I'm just going to promote all my dudes right away, just like I did at the first route split. Because why the hell not? So yeah, let's go. There we go, chapter 17A, Oceans Parting. Ah, uh, Murdoch's theme. Does this play normally? I don't think it does. Narshan has fallen then. So it seems, General Murdoch, I still feel uncomfortable that we didn't go to his aid. The King's orders explicitly said to leave him on his own. Burns' army has no use for a man who cannot manage his own messes. Sir Murdoch, what will become of us? Ricardo, I leave Castle Rimai to you. Rorts, you will take Castle Edessa. Make preparations to defend against the enemy. What? Remy's right on the border. And the enemy will be here in short time. That much is true, but this position gives us an invaluable strategic advantage against Etruria. You must ensure that this castle does not fall into enemy hands. Edessa lies all the way in the outer tundra of Ilya. Yes, so you will have ample time to prepare your defenses. You intend to take the defensive? You don't mean to take back Etruria? We play the waiting game for now. We will take Etruria someday. And once we do, it'll be under Burns' jurisdiction. What about us? That's not what we agreed upon. Then perhaps you should find a way to make yourselves useful. You have done nothing to deserve such renumeration. If you'll excuse us. Those two will surely be killed. Should we really leave them? We are not to blame if they fall. It is their own incompetence. Our army's code states that every officer must be capable and self-sufficient. Perhaps they should have considered that before joining us. The enemy leader, Roy, was it? Yes, Roy of Farah. I admit, he has rebuilt the Lysian army magnificently. I thought it finished after we crushed it the first time. I hope to cross blades with him before the war is finished. Oh, you will, Murdoch. You probably will. <clears throat> we will soon approach the Etrurian border. Thank you for everything, Father Yoder. We only made it this far thanks to the assistance of the church. I am only repaying your favor. Had you not captured Aquilia, we would have suffered great persecution from Burn. This is nothing compared to what you did for us. 
It was my pleasure to help the church. If I may be so bold, can I ask one more favor? Of course, if I'm capable. If you discover anything else about the dragons, say no more. If I find anything new, I will report to you immediately. You have my eternal thanks. Oh yes, I have some information that may be of use. At a certain time of day, the sea level drops, exposing a crossable sandbar. A sandbar? That sounds nice. I guess it's like a bar in the sand. It would take m much time for you to to make your way around the bay of the castle. However, crossing the sandbar would be a direct journey. I'll bear it in mind. However, you choose to proceed, please be careful. Or you could use the warp staff. Rushing forward has its dangers as well. Thank you for your advice. Not at all. May the Etrurian army go with St. Elamine's blessing. Bye, Yoder. Oh! Hoo -hoo! I knew this guy would show up sooner or later. I've seen him before. This is really cool. Lord Roy, please forgive me for being late. Lowen, what are you doing here? Lord Elowen sent me to assist you in the Battle of Aquilia, but I was late. Please forgive me, Lord Roy. Lowen, it's fine. The fact that you're here now is more than enough. Thank you, my lord. It seems you are just as merciful as your father. Now allow me to ride off towards your enemies and make Faray prowl. <laughs> and he runs off. Oh, this is nice. Like, I don't mind this at all. This is really cute, actually. Adding some FE7 characters to FE6. If FE6 ever gets uh, remade, I fully expect them to do this. They, they're going to add some FE7 characters into it. But I'm honestly fine with that. Here's Lowen. Uh, again, I've seen this guy before. Pretty damn good stats for a pre-promote. Again, there's no bad units in Project Ember, really. Uh, let's take a look at his growth rates, shall we? Here they are. So, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, th I think he has this, the same growth rates as he has in FE7, doesn't he? Yeah, they're they're completely the same, actually. Yeah, they're, they're actually just his old FE7 growth rates. But he's a great knight now, which is, you know, that was always a better class for Lowen, I guess. He was always, like, the slow and tanky cav, so... But yeah, look at that. 14 cons, pretty damn good. Comes with a brave sword, always nice to have. I mean, this is a, this is a super good and reliable unit. I like it a lot. So yeah, very happy to have Lowen on my team. Let's turn on his animations. And also, of course, there's something else we gotta do. I know you guys want me to do this. Uh, currently, you can talk to Douglas. Let's just see what happens. General Douglas, we could use some backup. Understood. Oh my god, he summons greed units and he summons Roach. Reporting for duty. I kind of figured this is what would happen. I've, I've heard about this before. I've heard about this. So Douglas can essentially reinforce now. That's so <laughs> incredibly cool. Oh, uh, the green units are, are they any good? Not really, but they're expendable green units. There's, there's something to be said for that. And I mean, Douglas pretty damn good unit in his own right, so I think this is completely fine. It's, it's funny though, it is really funny. But, ladies and gentlemen, Let's, uh, let's just get this out of the way, shall we? Let's become a sage! Ah, boy, 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 And he becomes... <laughs> Are you kidding me? He becomes a mage knight? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that, if I had known, I would have promoted him way earlier. He actually becomes a mage knight. I love it. That's so cool. Well, that puts him apart from the other ones, for sure. Huh! Look at that! That is so incredibly cool. Anyway, let's uh, check out Lowen's uh, palette, shall we? Oh, he looks great. Mm. Honestly, though, I kind of like the FE8 Great Knight. I wouldn't mind if Lowen looked like that, because that would put him apart from, sec uh, from second Trellot, I almost said. Trek and Sellot, you know? Anyway, what do we have here? We have, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let the green units take the brunt of this one. That is what I'm gonna do. And, uh, I'm gonna promote with both Noah and Trek. I don't expect them to be all that impressive, but... I don't know, it just feels right to take the Ilian squad to Ilya, you know? And I think with these promotional bonuses, they'll be... serviceable units. They still have an A support with each other, which is pretty nice. Noah has 17 speed, which is completely okay. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Trek will probably not have the best of stats, because he's by far the weakest of the three, but he, he will probably have better stats than Sillot, though, actually, I think, after he promotes. We'll see. Let's see how his stats looks like. So, he will have... Okay, that's pretty nice. 21 defense. That's really good. 
Uh, yeah, no, he's uh, he's a little weaker than Salad strength-wise, uh, but he has more speed and a lot more defense. So I think this is honestly pretty nice. I think I sold my guiding other guiding ring, sadly, so I won't get to I won't get to promote Sophia. But that's okay, right? Uh, all right. So what I'm gonna do with Melody? She has a Delphi shield on her. I'm going to send her out here on the island. Did I not give her a ranged weapon? I guess I didn't. But I'll, I'm gonna fly her out on the aisle and I'm gonna take out the Ballistas immediately. And then I'm gonna drop Igren off on the Ballistas. Anyway, Chlorine, can you, uh, can you kill this guy? Uh, you can kill this guy at least. There we go. She actually crit. She would've killed the Paladin. Oh well. That's okay. Maybe the Wing Spare can do something here. Although, gotta be careful as you can see. Uh, these Ballistas are scary. We don't want to put Thea in their range. Oh, really? She doesn't double? What the hell? Aw. Alright, that's kind of annoying, actually. Hmm. Also, I just realized we're playing beneath an open sky again now. I didn't even realize, but that's what we're doing. Alright, well, uh, yeah, this kind of sucks. I guess I'll just use Lowen to kill the Paladin. Or I could try and weaken him a little bit, maybe, and then Thea could get the kill. That'd be better. Could try the hand axe, maybe? If we do... if we reduce him... if we do that, then... yes! I actually think that works. Let's do it. Lowen looks really cool. Really like his palette. Even though it kind of looks like a green unit. There we go. Also, the green units are gonna move, too. That's something I need to keep in mind. There you go. Oh, we're gonna promote Thea as well, by the way. I forgot, but we will definitely promote her. And now she got a level up, so... So there we go, level 17, Oh, capped skill, almost capped speed. And Lelina, uh, we don't, can this guy, is this guy like any threat to any of my guys? 17 speed, uh, it's not gonna kill Elfin, it's not gonna kill any of these guys, so this is completely fine. However, I'm still gonna physics spam a little bit, it would be nice, I don't know if we could get Lelina to A rank until the time where it actually matters, but it would be a little bit nice. Alright, going for Melody, this is fine, this is why I gave her the Delphi shield, so she can just swoop in and take out both of those Ballistas immediately. And yeah, look at that, the soldiers are good, they're, they're absorbing enemy fire, I love it, look at this, oh, it's great! They're actually pretty good expendable units, I love this. <laughs> oh, green units. Oh, the wait, they have Brave Lances? That's actually pretty insane. Okay, that's actually really cool. Ah, they killed a unit! Okay. Alright, well, uh, let's go out and take out the first Ballista. Can just use the Owl Sword for this, honestly. Oh, god damn it! I should've used the Brave Lance. Oh, uh, no, I should've used the Brave Lance, fuck. Uh, oh well, what can you do? Anyway, who has the, uh, do I have the Hamurn? I think I have the Hamurn, right? I guess... Actually, I don't have the Hamurn. And never mind, I Hamurn the Warp Staff, it's okay. So here's the question, do I just warp... Actually, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> yes! That's right, that's right, that's what I'm gonna do. Here you go, that's how we're gonna deal with this. I want Igran on that aisle and I want her mounting one of the Ballistas. Actually, you know what? Maybe I want her on the other Ballista, I can't just speak of it. Because the other Ballista's probably gonna be better, I think. I don't know. They've got decent range, but... I think I might just drop her off on the other island instead. And then... Since I can pretty much use the Warp Staff to my heart content now... I am probably just gonna Warp Roy over on the other side? Could barrier him up first, though. Do I have the barrier? I actually don't know. Uh, maybe I can buy more barrier staffs? That would actually be kind of nice. Anyway, I'm going to uh, move Roy up like this. And that should be enough for Chlorine to just be able to warp him across here. Yeah, easily enough. Look at that. Yoink! And he should be able to make his way to over to a corridor. Maybe, maybe a barrier would have been nice. Anyway, low in the arena. Let's go. Yeah, uh oh. Uh, uh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Actually, this is pretty winnable, but. Uh, 
um, duh, duh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's okay, he'll be back in the game. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at Thea, she's promoted now. Yay! <laughs> Is that so funny? <laughs> oh god. Alright, Douglas. Wait, do we have animation song for Douglas? Uh, do we? Yes, we do. Wait, can you use bows? Yeah, you can use all the weapons. Damn, what a good unit this guy is. Oh, love that shield too. It's so cool. There we go. Good, good job. You know. Some people have been saying there's a t few too many personal weapons in Project Ember, and I I kind of see it. There are a lot of, of personal weapons, like a lot of personal weapons. Maybe they went a little bit aboard, uh, uh, like uh, above, like they, they went a little bit uh, overboard with it, so to say. I can sort of see that a little bit. Anyway, uh, still in the arena. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh, that's okay, he has a sword. He even takes a crit. This is completely winnable. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Nostolfo's the one getting the crit. Very nice. Gotta get some money. I didn't bring Merlinas for this map. I probably should have. I don't really know why I didn't. And uh, let's go get the Tina staff. Are you fighting against Burn? Then please take the staff. It was once used by the noble lady Tina. Please, please, please make Tina playable. I beg of you. I want Tina to be playable. If we don't have any anti-armor weapons here. That actually kind of sucks a little bit. Should have brought a hammer or something. This is not gonna work. At all. But the green units will make do, I guess. I do hope Roy will be fine. Uh oh, oh god. He has a hammer though, what the? Uh-oh. Uh, okay. He has a hammer, though. Okay. I didn't realize he had a hammer. Trek is weak to hammers now. Who would have thought? I guess I would have thought if I'd cared to check the inventory. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, Roy may be good. People have been saying, like, Roy is like the new Adrian. If you don't remember, like, during my Pride and Justice Let's Play, the main character, Adrian, was, like, completely broken. She soloed maps with little to no difficulty at all. People have been saying, like, Roy is the new Adrian. I don't actually agree, because my Adrian was unkillable. Like, she literally could not get hit. Like, she was so incredibly powerful. She had, like, 40 lock, 30 speed. Uh, nothing could land a hit on her. Oh, wow. Uh, but... Roy is very mortal, as you can clearly see here. It doesn't actually take that much to kill him. Um, so... Like, if I was unlucky here, he would have died. Okay, he doesn't even want to attract Trek. Probably because Trek doesn't take damage, I imagine. So yes, Roy is disgustingly good now, absolutely. He could also be put to sleep, I realize that right now. Because he doesn't have a barrier on him, so I don't know how, how good this is gonna be. If he gets put to sleep, then I'm in trouble. Yeah, I mean, look how mortal he is. I mean, he, he, he nearly got killed several times here. I don't think soloing everything with Roy is actually going to be an alternative. Please don't hit. Thank you. 22% chance to get slept there, and it's actually 22% because Staves uses 1RM. Well, green units being green, what else is new? Actually, they're... I don't know. I feel like... A better way to make these green units not be super annoying would probably be to, um... I feel like it would probably be better if, uh, if they didn't hit so hard. Like, if they just were more bulky. I would actually appreciate that a lot more, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up Chlorine, there we go. Drop her over, just in case Roy actually gets hit. 
guess we could do this. But yeah, the, as I said, this Ballista actually isn't the best because it's not really in range. Uh, also, I grants Palette being bugged again, I see. It's a funny bug. But hey, taking these guys out is still pretty okay. At least I won't have to bother with them anymore. Okay, uh, well, Trek took a hefty amount of damage. Let's heal him up, shall we? Yay, Mage Knight staff animation. Woo, it's just like the Valkyrie staff animation. Just, there's nothing different about it. But it's cool looking, I guess. Yeah, we'll send the Three Stooges over here to deal with this guy. Shine. Okay. It'd be funny if Salad could build a B support with his subordinates. I wonder, can you, can you reinforce multiple times with, uh... I don't know, can you, re can you reinforce multiple times with Douglas? Because that sounds OP as shit, like, if that's the case. Yes, we're visiting the house with Elfin. The tide is very dramatic around here. I remember once I was getting ready to go fishing, but by the time I had my boat ready, the tide had already gone out. Yep. That's like sailing a boat in Norway, too. Did you know that at a certain time of day, a sandbar appears in the bay? Oh no, I've just been told five times. It's a path right through the ocean. Good luck! Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get- we, you want us to walk in the middle. Ah, these guys have bows. Oh, that's kind of annoying. But that's okay, I'm on a fort. Actually, I, I considered giving the rune blade to, to Roy so he could retaliate uh, at three range, but I, I, I didn't figure it would be necessary. I guess joke's on me, huh? Anyway, I gotta take out that sleep staff guy, because if Roy gets slept, that's actually gonna be really annoying for me. Also, do we get Nima in the next chapter? I don't remember. Uh, we do. I think the next chapter is the one with the rivers, right? Or the frozen rivers, and then the chapter after that is the Fog of War map, I think. And then it's the Gaiden chapter. No, then it's the indoor snow map, and then it's the Gaiden chapter. The earlier route is actually four chapters, Gaiden chapter included. Why didn't the guy swap to his halberd? I wonder. That's such a weird AI. Or wait, did I? No, I killed the halberd guy. Never mind. I'm dumb. I was like, why, why didn't they swap? Would have been much better to use the halberd. Yeah, this shouldn't hit. It really shouldn't. But it hits. Uh. Okay, well that's annoying as hell. I don't actually know if I brought a restore staff. I actually don't know if I brought a restore staff. God damn it. Uh... I think Lilina might have it? No, she has a Physic. Also, you need to use your Angelic Robe, girl. Uh, who- I don't actually- did I not bring a Restore Staff? That's so stupid. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Jesus Christ. Alright, well, milady, I guess you need to go pick up someone now. <laughs> Alright, well, that's, uh... That's very annoying, but I guess that's what we're doing now. God, five turns of sleeping. But I guess it gives other people time to do stuff. I um, really don't know why I didn't bring... I should really bring more advanced weaponry next time. Hammers and stuff like that. I got them aplenty. I guess I just didn't really prepare that all that well. There we go. And then Trek with the supports should be way better. It's insane how much these help him. Like, it, it is absolutely crazy how much they help him. Look at this. Yeah. There we go. Wait, does he literally have, like, a shield on his horse? No, I think that's just the barding armor, actually. Uh, alright. Uh, <laughs> I guess Milady can get danced for next turn. I stole full Alina, let's go, I guess. Oh, I should turn off Roy's animations until he wakes up. This is gonna get tedious. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's actually attacking in melee now. What the hell? I guess it does more damage. Can't help. Like, he can't retaliate anyways. It, actually, it makes perfect sense for this to happen because, uh... Yeah, yeah, because Roy can't retaliate anymore, so... Yeah, no, that, that makes complete sense. Yeah. <laughs> I never... You know, the sleeping status effect always bothered me in Fire Emblem. Oh, don't you dare. 
I always... Nice. I don't know why the miss uh, text is glitch. It always bothered me. I, uh, I always felt like if I were to, like, remake the sleep status, I think the way I would do it is it would set your avoidance to zero, but the first time you get attacked, you wake up. That's how I think I would balance. Oh, never mind, she has restore! Oh, thank god. Thank god, she has restore. Oh my god. Okay, I'm a little worried now, though. I'm... These guys might kill Clarine now. Uh... I feel like I should take out the archer at the very least. Because the archer is probably the biggest threat to Clarine, I imagine. What's, what, what is Clarine's avoid right now? 86 is pretty damn good. I don't, I don't think that's going to be a problem for her. But these guys have bows, so we definitely can't put uh, Thea closer. I don't think she can really make it back in time to be relevant, so... I think what I'll just do is I'll just pick up Elfin. Maybe he can do something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but yes, I think I think the sleep status effect would make a lot more sense that way. Because it just doesn't make sense that you, like, dodge shit when you sleep. It's so dumb. Silver Sword, Killing Edge. Do we have Killing Edges? Let's get Killing Edges. Uh, Axe Reavers. I want Axe Reavers. I want Sword Reavers as well. And I want all oh, recurbos. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I think I still have one. Ooh, another hunting bow. So much cool shit. Uh, recurve bow. And we gotta save money for arena, right? Lolina in the arena. Let's go. Sophia in the arena. She's fast. Actually, Sophia's gonna be really good in the arena. Let's do it. Healing green units because, of course, why not? So wait, what do we have here? Great knights. Silver Axe, Silver Axe, Silver Lance. Uh, we can probably put Trek in front, I think. Yeah, we put Trek here. Next to his friends. Oh, I, I never realized, actually, there are forts down in the bottom right corner. I actually never knew. Here we go. Trek is the schmeck. Look at that. Crit. I, I want to see Trek's crit animation. That's so cool. Yeah, no, he doesn't have a shield on his horse. It's just this barding arm. It just looked like a shield for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, no, this is fine. Lorene has 86 avoid, so she's practically unhittable. But yeah, I don't know why those uh, miss animations are so glitched on her. It's so weird. Must be a side effect of the patches, I imagine. But it, it always happens to her. Okay, there we go. Lord Ocardo, a path has appeared in the sea. What? According to the locals, the tide pulls out this time of day. And you didn't know about this sooner? My lord, we are foreigners here. We do not know this land. Curses! Curses! Charge! Don't allow the enemy to cross that path! Lord Roy, we have a report. Did the sandbar appear? Yes, Father Yoder was right. Did the enemy know about it? Actually, no. They seem to be in a panicked state. All right, then let's not waste this opportunity. Move forward. No one cares. <laughs> Literally, no one gives a shit. Oh, this guy actually had a horse there, but no one gives a shit about that either. Oh god, a cardo hits like a truck. What the hell? Okay, that's actually pretty scary. Oh, I forgot to turn that voice animations back on. Wow. Roy actually... Okay, Roy actually doesn't, like, instantly kill him. Color me surprised. Uh, wow, this guy actually one-shots Clarine. What the hell? Uh, okay, that's pretty insane. Uh, do we actually... Maybe we'll just play it safe? Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna play it safe here, guys. Because, uh, that... It's a small chance to happen, but if it happens, then it kind of sucks, you know? Anyway, Douglas, you'll have to go forward here. And Lou, not in range to heal yet, sadly. And we don't want to be dropping Elfin off in any dangerous territories. Let's just do this. And Sophia, let's go. Welcome to the arena. Yes! Uh, normally I'd be terrified of this matchup, but I think actually Sophia will be fine here. I think she'll even double. Because Sophia is blazing fast now. She can never get doubled by any enemy in the tier 1 arena. 
she has literally 20 speed, so... Even if she misses, meets, like, the dreaded Silver Sword Myrmidon, she's still not gonna get double. Nice! And that's a weapon level increase, too. I don't have a lot of dark magic, actually. That's something I should probably fix. But yeah, a card will be a tough nut to crack. Like, I might need help them from more guys, actually. Oh. I uh, hope Douglas will be fine here. Dude almost has cap defense, but then again, enemies hit so hard in Project Ember. Like, even Douglas is not really capable of tanking here. Like, all the enemies have silver weapons, which is pretty insane. Mm -mm. Good thing I brought another Pepsi Max, eh? Hmm. Ow. Okay, that actually kind of hurt. Yeah, Chlorine only has uh, 14 resistance, actually. I thought she had more. All right, green units, are you gonna come and be relevant? Oh, they're actually run away when they're on low health. That's cute. They actually have the defensive AI. Anyway, Thea. Man, she looks good as a Falcon Knight. Look at that. Oh, wow. Still gets a lot of experience. All right, Roy. Um, I mean, we gotta take out these guys eventually, right? Rapier is actually still pretty good. And then as soon as we take out the other guy, we can go and smack a corda on the bots. Hit boy! Yeah. <laughs> He's... Roy's not gonna get great levels anymore. Uh, not at all, really. There we go. We can heal a little bit. Oh shit, wait, Chlorine is on 15 health. Is she gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, she's gonna be just a-okay. And yeah, I want Arena more with Sophia. I want to get more money. Honestly, Light Cav. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, actually, is it fine? She gets two shot of here, I think, if the guy misses, but she probably doubles? Unless the guy is really strong? No, this is actually fine. This is completely fine. This is mega winnable, as one would say. Mega winnable. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, alright, okay. Still mega winnable, guys. Still mega winnable. Who will defend Sophia? Everyone in the arena cheers. Well, that's like no experience. What the hell? I just heard more than that. I almost got killed. Yes, this is optimal physic use, and you will not convince me otherwise. Wait, who got the Tina staff? Magic, skill, defense, and resistance. Did I, didn't I get the Tina staff? Or was it a Stolfo? No, I guess he didn't get it either. Okay, well, um... Hmm. Okay, Lou, I want to see your new Mage Knight animations. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I guess we didn't get to see them. Silver Sword Douglas, let's go. Wait, I, s I seem to recall there being a lot of reinforcements on this map. Maybe I'm just playing too quickly for them to actually show up. But, uh... Aren't there, like, a million reinforcements on this map? Oh, crap. That's actually not what, we were, what you were supposed to do, but okay. As long as we take out the promoted guy, we should be safe. He was the only one who <coughs> really dealt damage to Douglas anyway. What do we have here? Silver Axe, Silver Lance... Probably okay for Noah to uh, tank this, I imagine. Yeah, this ballista ended up being completely useless. As one might would have. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. I don't like this one bit. Uh, hopefully the axe doesn't kill me. Come on, Noah, you got you got two of your buddies supporting you there. Uh, okay, nice, <laughs> good job. Here we go. I swear to God, guys, these these guys will be relevant eventually. Weapon level increase. And yeah, now the path to Ricardo is open. Although, I still need a healer if I'm gonna go up against him, because he hits back really hard. I guess I could just put Roy in front of him, actually. That's a thing I could do. Oh, there, there we go, reinforcements coming in now. Just scrubs, though, for the most part. 
Yeah, we have, uh... We don't... Hmm, I guess we could dance with Elfane. But yeah, I'll, I'll kill this guy with Thea using the, the wing spear. Oh god, the, this guy has crit on me. Not a big fan of that. I could force Ricardo to use his light sword, actually, by moving in a three range. And that should be a little bit less scary than the, uh, than the Brave Lance he has. I think that's a Brave Lance, at any rate. And then my lady. Tip, tip. Uh, let's just use the Brave Lance. The L-Sword, is it, is it just really inaccurate or something? I always thought the L-Sword was like a more accurate Steel Sword. But, uh, let's take a look at its stats. Is it actually any good? Nah, 75 hit 11 might... It's actually not that great. Funnily enough. Anyway, I'm not gonna get crit. Don't crit me, please. I really want... I need Thea for the Gaiden, actually, so... Uh, I hope you don't need Loan for the Gaiden. I just realized... I don't, I, that would be kind of silly. Uh... If they, like, added an additional requirement for the Gaiden. But if so, I guess I'll just have to go back and replay. Because that would be, that would be really, really freaking silly. There we go. And yeah, we can kill Ocardo on the next turn. Ooh, I wonder what they, they're gonna do to Juno in this uh, hack, actually. Oh, crap. Yeah, we got... Oh god, we got plenty of green coming up here. Uh, shit. Uh, this is actually pretty bad. I don't like this. Uh, I guess I'll take... And then I'll drop off. What do they have? No wing spares, I hope. Silver weapons. That's actually pretty scary. But I can take out one silver lance at the very least. But no, I was injured, so I'm actually kind of worried here. Hmm. I don't like this one, but hopefully the green units uh, saves me. Hit points, speed, luck, and defense. Uh, do I have an elixir or anything like that? I don't actually think I do. Uh, no, I don't actually have anything. So what does this guy have? A silver sword with 33 attack? That is actually pretty scary, and Douglas gets doubled here. He has 26 defense, though. As long as he has, he has the Wishblade equipped, he should be okay here, I hope. But yeah, the, the Pegasus Knight will probably go for... Hopefully, the Pegasus Knight will go for uh, one of the greens. And I, I equipped an Iron Lance here because I want Weapon Triangle advantage. Even though I still probably don't think it's gonna help Noah. We'll see what the green units do. Hopefully, something okay. I'm not gonna arena. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Perfect. Why? What have I done to deserve such a fate? Well, you used the light blade for once. All right, let's go green units. And there's some more unit. Yeah, I seem to recall there being like a lot of reinforcements on this map. A crap ton of reinforcements. Okay, Roy, go get him. Yep, yeah, that's pretty beautiful. He'll, he'll probably crit too, I imagine. Maybe? I mean, come on, Roy. Let's go, it's the Rapier. No? Alright. That's okay. Clarine can get the kill. Maybe? Uh, yeah, actually she can. Quite easily, too. Beautiful. I am a noble of Etruria! I cannot die in a place such as this! Go! You even got killed off-screen. Best way to die, am I right? All right, level 10 Clarine, getting skill, woo! I don't know if killing the boss stops reinforcements. That would actually be kind of interesting to check out, so I'll need to wait one more turn until I see this anyway, so I'm actually completely fine with this. Also, I'm not using says. <laughs> I know some of you guys probably wanted to be to use these, but I'm not using them. Not using them, sorry guys. Just not interested in using them. I'm sure he's good, but I don't particularly care for him. Uh, okay. I think I have a Air Calibur. Yeah, I do, actually. But that actually doesn't kill. Wow. Okay, that's actually kind of scary. Can I kill all of these guys? I actually don't know if I can. Maybe I should have healed with Lou. 
Uh, Trek still has his Brave Axe. But I actually don't think I can kill the last Pegasus Knight. Oh, that crit animation. Oh, I love it. Here we go. And Zealot, what do you want to do? Oh, you get doubled? Oh. Yes, you do. That's okay. We can get no auto range now. So, I'm not scared anymore. Alright, we'll see you in the next turn. <laughs> I like these green units. I'm gonna keep deploying them. It's nice to have some disposable cannon fodder. Oh, that's Roach! Nice! That was actually Roach. Alright, let's seize the throne! Lord Accardo. What a pathetic ending for one with so much power. A year ago, I myself never imagined I would be leading an army. Fate can be unpredictable. With any luck, the same will be true for Burn too. Lord Roy, what is that in your hand? Oh, this? This is the Fire Emblem. That tiny gemstone? Princess Guinevere wanted me to keep it. It seemed difficult for her to give it to me. I think she still hoped to the end this war would end with diplomacy. Hmm. Perhaps she had faith in her brother. Even that, even if that seems unlikely. Why do you say that? Because Sephiel is the treacherous King of Burn. It is said that he murdered his own father. I don't expect he would be moved by family trusts. He killed his own father? Didn't you know, Lord Roy? Sephiel took the throne because his father, King Desmond, passed on. But because King Desmond's death was so sudden, there were rumors. So they said? Yes, that Sephiel assassinated him. Does Princess Guinevere know about this? I'm sure she is at least aware of the rumors. She may even know the whole story. Ah yes, that's Sephiel. Alright, well that was a quick and easy chapter. For everyone saying like, oh my god, low and dead, he'll come back once I go to Sakai, because I'll be loading a state. That's why I felt comfortable continuing. So don't worry, low and fans. You'll get your chance. Maybe. Possibly. Please don't dislike my video.